It doesn't happen very frequently that a boxer who has a perfect record of 32 victories and no defeats is continually attacked. But that has been Demetrius Andrade's reality for a period of time that is too lengthy. Andrade gave up his WBO middleweight championship in April of 2022, despite the fact that his mandatory challenger, Janabek Alimkanuli, was already prepared for the match. In a subsequent statement, Alimkanuli said that Andrade attempted to evade him. In order to avoid that fight, Andrade made the decision to step up and wait to fight Zach Parker in a fight that was originally planned for the interim WBO middleweight championship, but was ultimately postponed. However, Andre decided not to participate in the fight because of the small amount of money on offer. Therefore, John Ryder was assigned to face Parker instead. In the end, Ryder was successful in overcoming Parker and setting up a fight against Canelo Alvarez, which was supposedly what Andre wanted all along. Thus, keep watching to find out how this battle took place, and the reason why fans are more inclined to favor one fighter over the other. At this point, it seems like all that stands between Andrade and a matchup with Canelo is a single bout. David Benavidez, a rising star in the sport, will be the one to stand in his path. Thus, it would seem that Andrade has chosen the more difficult path to get to Canelo, but this is the largest opportunity of the fighter's career to date, and his last shot at a fight for a massive amount of money. Benavidez, on the other hand, has a perfect record of 27 wins, and he successfully defended his WBC Interim Super Middleweight Championship with two spectacular victories over David Lemieux and Caleb Plant. Benavidez has had Canelo in his sights for quite some time, and the two boxers are scheduled to face one another possibly in the future after Canelo has beaten Jermel Charlo. There's no disputing that Benavidez and Andre will go into their bout with a lot of weight on their shoulders. loosening his grip on his hands. The adulation of one's devotees is one example. Benavidez is typically prepared to put himself in harm's way in order to give his followers something to cheer for, but he may not always knock out his opponent. Benavidez's relentless pressure on his opponents isn't simply a strategy to win over new fans. It's also a strategy that causes his eyes to light up when he sees the will-breaking impact it has on the guy who's standing on the other side of the ring. Having said that, Demetrius Andrade is getting ready for just that kind of situation right now. Andrade, who has a perfect record of 32 wins, often uses his left hand to subdue his opponents, even when they have an unending gas tank and plenty of force. Benavidez won't be able to move forward unfettered against him, according to the former two-division champion, who feels this despite the fact that he won't be the larger man when the fight takes place. When asked whether his left hand would give him the respect of Benavidez, Andrade said, Oh yeah. In an interview with FightHype.com, just a few short months earlier, Andrade's left hand caught the attention of Damon Nicholson when he knocked down the veteran journeyman numerous times before winning by a decisive margin. When it comes to Andrade, it's not only a matter of throwing his left hand. That's an explanation that is just too basic and commonplace to be considered. In light of this, Andrade provided a plethora of responses to the question of the mode of transportation he intends to use in order to transport his money shot. It's fast, it's crisp, and with him, I'll be able to throw it from all angles, is how one customer described it. Trainer Jose Benavidez Sr. claims that Demetrius Andrade is merely a little guy who will be outsized by his son, David Benavidez, and will go to sleep on November 25th in their headlining bout that will be broadcast on Showtime pay-per-view. Benavidez has only one fighting style, and that is to unload on his opponents with continuous blows, defeating them with his high volume work rate combined with his massive size for the 168 pound class and power. It is essential that Benavidez does not overdo it in training camp, as he did for his most recent bout, which took place in March against Caleb Plant. Benavidez gave the impression of having overdone it during the training camp, as he seemed exhausted and lifeless with his overall appearance. On the other hand, Andrade, who fights from the southpaw position, will have Benavidez's number if the latter enters the bout looking fatigued once again. Jose Sr. claims that he has been watching videos of the undefeated Andrade's previous bouts throughout his lengthy career, and he's already creating a game plan for WBC interim super middleweight champion Benavidez to deploy when the two of them fight at the Michelob Ultra Arena in Las Vegas. Benavidez, who is much larger than Andrade, 
will have to close the distance between them in order for him to be able to employ his combo punches, since Andrade will almost certainly be moving about throughout the fight. In an interview with Mill City Boxing, Jose Benavidez Sr. discussed Demetrius Andrade. He stated, I already know what we're working on, and we're going to wait until fight night, but I'll tell you right now, in my opinion, I think he never made that adjustment from amateurs to professionals. Because Demetrius's opponents have been ordinary during the course of his 15-year career, he's been able to get away with employing his amateur approach even when competing at the professional level. Andrade's career to this point includes bouts against Jack Kulke, Vains Martirosian, Masyad Sulky, and Liam Williams, all of whom are considered to be among the finest fighters in the world. He lunges in with big hooks and just throws punches from every angle, or he's awkward, said Benavidez Sr. Because of this, we are now working on a plan, and he is also working on a game plan. I've been observing what he does, and it seems like everyone has a plan until they're hit. We're going to find out who has been more successful now. Regarding Demetrius, Benavidez Sr. expressed his opinion that the latter can say whatever the hell he wants to say. He's a great fighter, and he doesn't have a loss on his record yet. Up until the day of the battle, I have complete freedom to say whatever the heck I want. This man is going to fall asleep if David walks in with a perfect readiness to score. I can guarantee you that, stated Jose Sr. Benavidez is going to need to be strong at the weight if he wants to be the first boxer to knock out Andrade. When he fought in March, Benavidez seemed to be struggling with his health and Plant was able to tell. Because Benavidez no longer had the strength he previously did, he had no choice but to rely on volume to defeat Plant. Man, he's a fantastic fighter, but we have to show that we can compete with him, Jose Sr. remarked. Because Benavidez is now older and Andrade is now competing in a weight class that is two divisions over his optimal weight, the timing of this bout couldn't have been better for Benavidez. Also, this is not the best version of Andrade that was released more than 10 years ago, Jose said. He has to do the same, but I'm studying him, and I pretty much have an idea of what we're going to do with him. His trainer said, Demetrius Andrade is an entirely unique individual in every way. His approach to combat is distinctive. He favors left-handed strikes, and his choice of combination is unique. Therefore, it's up to me to go there and study for myself, see what I can learn from him from his past battles, and then put together the plan. As I've already said, this man is a world-class fighter, and I have no reason to expect an easy battle against him at all. Because of this, the fight is going to be amazing, which will make it a terrific event for everyone at Showtime, and the fans are going to be the ones who come out on top in the end. Tell us who you believe will win in the forthcoming bout by commenting below and leaving your prediction. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.